Hey everyone, I'm gonna show you how I use the gentle lens. So when you get your lens, it's going to come with a wide angle. You're gonna go ahead and remove that because that's not for lashes. Before you use your lens, make sure you clean it and there's no smudges on it, as well as the lens on your phone. All right, so when you use your lens, you're going to slide this over the main camera like so, right about in the center. When you have your model set, you're going to grab your phone and you're gonna get about two to three inches away. You'll be able to tell because your picture is gonna be in focus. I like to work with two lights in natural lighting. We're working at nighttime, so we only have two lights and you're gonna see some shadows. When you get your photos, make sure that the lashes are in focus, not the color of the eye. If you focus on getting the color of the eye, it makes a really pretty photo, but it's not gonna focus on your lashes. You want the lashes to be in focus. I'm going to get the angle that you want and you're gonna to touch what you want in focus. So. Let's get a really dramatic angle. So if you want the outside in focus, you're gonna to touch the outside. If you want the center in focus, you're gonna to touch the center. If you want the inners in focus, you're gonna to touch the inners. If you're somebody who's not 100% confident in your inners, always focus on the outer second half because then it's automatically gonna blur your inner corner. So it's gonna kind of give you a little bit of leeway with that. I'm gonna show you my favorite angles. The fa my favorite angle, the angle you're gonna see me use the most is this one. When I'm getting the straight photo, I have the client look straight up and then I tell them to lower their eye just a little bit to kind of give that eye a relaxed look. Otherwise it kind of looks scared eye or just really uncomfortable. Uh, you could also get a side angle. This one's a good one, it's kind of fun. You can just tilt your camera and every time you tilt your camera, you're just gonna get a different shot. So keep practicing and you'll find your favorite shot. I also love doing this angle. So you're just gonna get below the eye, that's a nice one, and then change the angle of your camera because you're probably gonna like one over the other and then you're gonna favor a side. When you're first starting out, I would recommend getting five photos per angle. That way if you think that you got a really great photo and you actually didn't, you're gonna have a couple different photos to choose from. I would get, I would say at least five different angles, uh, five different photos, that means about 25 photos, so at least one of those you're going to love, right? And that's it. I hope you guys love it. Uh, let me know if you have any questions. You can DM me on Instagram. Hey guys, I just wanted to show you how I edit my photos. I use Facetune, just the free one. You're gonna pick tones. And what you're gonna do with the picker is your picker is gonna pick your color. So you always wanna pick a color kind of close to what you're gonna do. So what I'm doing first is I'm gonna kind of go in for her dark circles. So I've got my picker, I'm gonna pick my color. I'm gonna go pick tones because now you're painting. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna kind of feather like motion, go back and forth just a little. You're kind of barely touching. I'm kind of like going up, down, up, down. And you wanna zoom out quite frequently because right here, see it got a little heavy. You're just gonna do eraser and then just kind of touch it. Zoom out to make sure it doesn't look too heavy. And then I'm gonna grab my picker because I'm over here, I'm gonna pick a different color. So I pick a little bit darker of a color, tones. Again, using that feather. And we're gonna go over here, we're gonna pick another color. It's a little bit darker, a little bit lighter, thicker. And every time you get a different area, you're gonna pick a different color because you don't wanna choose a color from a different area. It's gonna look really funky. Okay, so I'm happy with that. So now what I'm gonna do is her eyebrows. Go back to tones. You're gonna zoom in until you see her eyebrows. You're gonna do picker again. You're gonna pick a darker color. You're going to go to tones and now you're gonna actually start painting over her eyebrow. It's gonna look a little crazy. Kind of go a little bit over her eyebrows. Again, zoom in. We're just trying to give it like a powdered makeup look, right? Right. So it's gonna look a little crazy. So what you're gonna do now is you're gonna go the eraser Zoom in a little bit. Now you're just gonna start low and slowly work your way up. What you want is that light line below. Okay, and then you're gonna move it over here. I'm not one to be able to do it upside down, so I always flip the camera. So still you're erasing. Slowly work your way towards where you're going. You want this straight, that's why I like eyebrows. Zoom in a little bit here. Let's clean that up a little bit. Zoom out. So already that looks so much better. So still like right here, it's a little bit high on the brow. So you're gonna click okay. You're gonna go to reshape. You're gonna zoom in 
and you have the the reshape button that it automatically brings you to. I'm gonna bring this down just a little bit and always zoom out just to make sure what you're doing is okay. Now I'm gonna lower this one a little bit, zoom out. Yes, much better, perfect. So I see a couple little stray hairs. We're gonna go for a little tweezer action. You're gonna press patch, patch. You're going to touch it. In the second circle, you're going to pull over and this is what you're replacing whatever you're trying to cover up with. So you're gonna press the red button. Then you're going to just keep going until you see the desired look. Get rid of all of those. And make sure that after you've done a few, you zoom out every so often because you think you might be doing a great job and you zoom out and you're like, ah. Get rid of this little guy. Okay, so now we're going to go to smooth. So I always start on the outers. So go around your outer perimeter because you don't want it to be super blurry, like close to the, where your, your eye is. So kind of blur her skin just a little bit, kind of doing that feathery motion. You don't want too much. Okay, that looks nice. Now I'm gonna go to details. I'm gonna zoom in really, really close to the eye and I'm just gonna touch the lighter colors. If you do too much, it looks a little too crazy and it looks a little too phony baloney. So zoom out. You kinda wanna keep checking in because you can make it look really intense if you don't want to. All right, so I'm gonna save my photo. Now, let me go to my photo. Let's find the new one. Okay, so here I'm gonna turn my brightness all the way up so I make sure that I can see what I'm doing. And I'm going to edit it. So I finish editing on my iPhone. I'm gonna go to, let's go to shadows, play with that a little bit. Mm, maybe get rid of a little bit of shadowing. If you get rid of too much shadowing, it's gonna make your lash line look a little bit lighter. So don't go too crazy. You don't wanna mess anything up or give any optical illusions like your lashes look darker than the other. You wanna make sure your client sees exactly what they're gonna be getting. But I like to lighten it a little bit. It's gonna kind of under-dramatize your work, but it's really gonna get rid of all of those dark shadows in her eyes, um, underneath her eyes, rather. Go a little bit lighter, because I kinda of tend to like lighter and brighter photos. Let's go to warmth. Let's drop the warmth just a little bit because I like cool tones. And there you go, there's your edited photo.